Hi, I'm Richard Von Busack, film critic for Metro Newspapers. Today, March 1st, San Jose temporarily turns into one of the nation's movie capitals as Cinequest arrives. The festival is now 21 years old. A generation ago, it was a meeting place for film fanciers gathering to see movies that flew under the radar. It was an important local stage for the beginning of the 1990s rise of the independent film. Today, Cinequest is a nexus of experiences, a teaching facility on the newest methods for filmmakers and distributors, a showcase for up-and-coming filmmakers, and a 13-day-long social event for partygoers and serious networkers alike. Opening night is being held at the California Theater at 345 South 1st Street. If you've never seen this palace, here's your chance. It's a 1927 monument built by Weeks and Day, the firm that designed the St. Francis Hotel in San Francisco, revitalized by the city of San Jose and by local philanthropist David Packard, whose Stanford Theater Foundation operates another beautiful antique theater in Palo Alto. The opening night film is Passione by John Turturro. Most people know of Turturro as the pesky comic relief in the Transformer movies, a role he's returning to this summer. But Turturro is also the seasoned director of alternative films going back all the way to his 1992 Mac. His interest in musicals led him to make the cult movie Romance and Cigarettes with Kate Winslet of Titanic and James Gandolfini, the star of The Sopranos. Here Turturro guides us through the street scene in Naples, Italy, a poor, teeming ancient city alive with music. The after party is at Ulipia and the Swinging Kuka at San Jose's South First Street District. When partying down afterwards, save your energy. There's 12 days to go. Check back here for our daily preview of what's happening at Cinequest and interviews with Cinequest filmmakers, directors, and writers. I'm Richard Von Busack. Thanks for watching.